Hello. This is a quick video to bookend part two of the How to Use Famitracker series. I received some feedback on the best way to navigate the Famitracker interface. Uh, one thing I missed was really common and useful keyboard shortcuts for like general workflow. Um, I believe I mentioned this in the prior video, but the slash and star keys on your keyboard numpad, so the little pad on the right hand side of your keyboard if you have one, um, those allow you to change the octave up and down respectively, so the slash brings it down and the star brings it up. Um, this really allows you to jump quickly when you're writing a melody and you kind of like run out of available notes on the keyboard. Um, press, pressing the enter key will play through the song from the start of the frame. So you can like put the thing here and press enter and pressing enter again will stop it. So it's very exciting notes. I just have something there for, um, for an example. So aside from that, you can press F6 and that will play the loop. So it'll just play um, this section on loop. Whereas if you hit enter, it'll play this frame and the next frame will just play through the entire song. Um, pressing F7 will play the song at the current cursor location which is useful if you're working on a specific part of a frame and you don't want to listen to the whole frame over and over. However, this is um, something that, to keep in mind that if you start the, um, the playback after the notes have been triggered, they won't play like right there because you need to turn those notes on to play them. So it's important to know that um, any notes or effects that you trigger bef that are triggered before hitting F7 won't uh, be in effect. So if you have effects that change the volume or anything like that, um, they won't be in effect. Um, so pressing F8 will just stop playback wherever the song is. So usually when I'm um, when I'm making music or when I'm working on a melody, I have uh, my fingers on F7 and F8 to just kind of start and stop the song very quickly at a particular point so I can work on it. Now it's um, something that I want to mention, but for some inexplicable reason, hitting F9 will change your octave to seven. So um, if for some reason um, all of your notes are inaudible, um, you probably accidentally hit F9. This is really annoying, so just kind of watch out for it. Um, so I think I mentioned this before as well, but using the arrow keys allows you to navigate um, around inside of a frame. You can also use page up and page down to skip an entire beat, so you can move a little bit faster that way. Um, pressing home brings you to the start of the frame, and pressing end will um, bring you to the end. So that's really good at really quick navigation of a single frame. Um, or if you're working with a project with multiple frames, you can um, just hit end and then down and you're, in the net, and you're, you're at the top of the next frame. Um, another useful bit of information that I really actually didn't know until researching this episode is that in addition to the standard copy and pasting, um, there is actually a paste and merge function so normally when you copy and paste, you can select, you select your notes there, and when you hit paste, it will destructively change everything in here. It'll copy and paste over the empty spaces as well as the spaces with actual note data in it. However, pressing Control M will um, paste and merge all this information on top of the in existing data non-destructively. So this is super important, and I'm definitely going to use that a lot in the future. Um, when I get to the episode way later in the series on um, the delay effect or the echo effect, this will be very, very useful. So um, keep that in mind. And you can feel superior over me. <laughs> yeah. um, so finally, um, you can actually transpose in entire sections of notes at once. So selecting a group of notes and then pressing Control F1 will bring down the whole group of notes by a semitone and then F2 will bring it up by a semitone. Um, pressing control F3 will bring it down by an entire octave 
and then control F4 will bring it up by an entire octave. So this is really useful for playing around with melodies or like changing keys of a melody halfway through a song. Um, so, okay, for reals, this, um, the next video is about including effects and using the noise channel. Um, as always, if you have any questions, uh, please get in touch with me through the YouTube comments below or my twi Twitter handle above. Um, and if you found this video interesting, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to this channel because I'm planning on creating a lot more stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.